peace and peace love. And love. Peace and love. Peace and love, peace and peace, love. Peace and, peace and love. Peace and love podcast. Peace and peace and love podcast. Peace and love, peace and love. Peace and love podcast. Peace and peace and love. Negus. Negus. Um, what is the language of origin? Straight from Ethiopia. What is the definition? Definition. Royalty. King royalty. Negus. Could you use it in a sentence? Kendrick Lamar, by far, realest Negus alive. Uh, could you repeat the definition? Description. Black emperor, king ruler. Negus. N-E-G-U-S. I love you, black man. 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 Black man, I love you. You're a black man. I love you. I love you. I appreciate you. From this black queen to all my black kings out there. I just need to keep your minds right. And y'all just need to keep your grind tight. Listen, let me tell you something. You ain't got to sit there and and be and be acting like you gonna catch this this dang virus. Peace and peace and love. love. You ridiculous. This is ridiculous. God ain't gonna do did you do anything? Did you do anything? God ain't gonna give it to you if you ain't did anything. You what did you do? Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> talk to me, I talk back. You see what I'm saying? You know, you got to know what it do before you know what is going to happen to you. Peace and, peace and love. This is ridiculous. I say all you need to pray. We need to pray just to make it today. <laughs> Yo, 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 Peace and Love Podcast, man. We back up in here, man. Back in here. My name is Emmett. You can catch me at E-M-C-G-E-E-E. Um, in here on a lovely, I think it's a Wednesday. This is a Wednesday, got man. My love, got my co-host in here yeah, today. Yeah, man, you, you already know who it is, man. I'm your co-host, man. Bro, you already know where to follow me at. Bro, the producer number four, business back, slap it or trash it. We in this thing, bro. Peace and love. Man, what's, what's going on, man? Cooling. What's the I deal, don't know if man? we exactly six six feet apart. You know what I'm saying? This might not be oh, the no, safest nigga, thing. Minute, you know, but my boy. <laughs> it is what it nigga is. Doing the whole episode like this, nigga. <laughs> nigga, the camera <laughs> reached me and everything. Niggas ain't fucking that with that Rona. That Rona. <laughs> that Rona. <laughs> that Rona. <laughs> that Rona or something. Yeah, I don't know, man. man. You know, just to give people What's the, up? The, 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 the the accurate uh, yeah. stats on the Rona, uh, yeah. it's a lot of misinformation going on. There's a a website called WorldMeters.com dot info forward slash coronavirus and if you go to this website world wait world meters one more time that's world world o meters dot info forward slash coronavirus if you go to this website it'll give you an active up-to-date track of what's going on with the coronavirus right now it says we have 219,240 240 219,240 cases in the whole world right now we have 8,000 deaths from the coronavirus, mm-hmm. but the big number is what nobody's talking about. I've seen a couple of posts on this. There's been 85,000 people that recovered from the coronavirus mm-hmm. since this whole thing started. So that's less than half of the people that was that. Less than half of the yeah. people, right? But still, that's still a whole lot of people that's yeah. recovered. And we understand that older folks, people with current uh, other ailments, uh, the virus can maybe affect them a little, a little worse. Yeah. So I think it's a lot of panic going on. I do think it's serious. We gotta we gotta take it serious, but I think it's a lot of uh it seems like it's a lot of hype going on. Why you say hype? Where you where you getting the hype from? Where you say you think so you saying you think this shit is a hoax? Or is it real or is it just, just some 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 shit that the government a, implemented to so you know? Cause everybody got their own theory about what's going on right now. You got exactly. you got one you got some people say, oh they go they gon uh, uh uh implement martial law. Exactly. Then you got some people saying, oh this is God that's coming fact. back. Then you got some people like, oh it's the that's end of the fact. world. It's a purge. Woo, woo, that's woo, what? Fact. I, I, you know what I'm saying? It could be it could be it could be it could be A, B, or C. It could be all of the above. So you don't you do you think this is man made shit if it's real? Well, the okay based on the research that I've done. Yeah. 
if you go to they got a, a long video actually on world star hip-hop but you do some things on youtube they said the coronavirus came from uh chinese folks eating bats eating raw bats i think we spoke about that on the show before <laughs> they have these dishes they show you where they got these raw bats and yeah. they have like a soup and a bat just come kind of perched in the soup and they were just eating the bats like that you know and then also they have this thing out there i was i was looking at they have street food in asia and things like yeah. that but they have this thing called instead of using cooking grease or cooking oil it's something that they they go into the gutters of the streets yeah. and it's called like slop and, and they get that and, and they make, use that and that's yeah. what they use for their cooking grease so it's a mix of like uh, uh bodily fluids and it's a it's, it's it's disgusting but that's what they cook their street food with i'm trying to figure out why this corona coronavirus label was on some of these cleaning these cleaning products a long time ago now they're saying that this, this just really came from that. these niggas eating bats because lately all of a sudden that's when we've been seeing all these videos i i just started seeing videos of these asians eating bats within right. the past about six months exactly say. exactly now all of a sudden this is where the rona come from <laughs> right but you when feel i like it's a hoax you feel like no I, I ain't gonna say a hoax bro i'm just saying because i feel like it's man-made and anything some shit that's man-made nigga you better be careful that's a fact you know what i'm saying but i do feel like uh Part of this is some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? And that's just what I feel, bro. This half of this is they knew when they was gonna report on this and what they doing and how they reporting, how they shutting down schools, they shutting down stores, they shutting down this, they shutting down that. You knew you was gonna send the people in the uproar and the panic. That's a fact. So I feel like they knew, you know, part of this was a plan, man. That's, that's how I fact. see it. You feel me? I think so too. Now a lot of people are saying, like you said, they're trying to enforce martial law. Yeah. And we know martial law was signed into it, it, it was it was it was made uh how can I put it? It was made live or active when Obama was in office. No, but martial law, that, 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 this one, if they implemented martial law, bro, this wouldn't be the first time. No, it wouldn't they be the first time. They did it when we had the riots. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so it's, not, okay. So absolutely. This wouldn't be the first time, but th yeah. this will be the first time people seen it like this, I think. Like we talked we about. We saw it like that. We saw it, absolutely. Yeah. Our parents didn't seen it before. Yeah. But imagine, I think when the riots happened, I'm assuming that the, the martial law was enforced where the riot took place at. You didn't have soldiers in Compton. Walking around, you know what I'm saying? It was more in Watts where the riots, where the riots was going on. But martial law, imagine going outside your house and it's a tank on the corner. You feel me? And it's and it's and it's a soldier standing on your in your driveway, and you can't leave your house without reporting to these folks and telling them where you going. Like, how long is this shit gonna last? My whole thing is. Then you got some folks that said, "Oh, they want to put microchips in this." Then you got some po folks that feel like they finna. Shoot us up with a vax uh, with, a, with a vaccine. Now the microchips already happening. I got a partner that worked for General Electric. Yeah, they this was like a year, maybe a year and a half ago. Yeah, he's an engineer for General Electric, yeah. and they were talking about we're rolling out this new thing with these with these microchips. And what this does is allows you to put the, every all your information on this chip. So when you come to work, your little fob, you can boom boom get into the place. It's, and so wait, this shit's supposed to be everything. You can get paid through it. You can do everything through this chip that's in your in hell. Your arm. Nah. I mean, hell and nah. some people could sign up for it to do it. Do some research, man. Type General Electric microchips. A lot of the people that work for that company. General already, Electric is GE. Everybody, GE. if y'all don't know, y'all got General Electric uh, home appliances in your yeah. house. Yo, yo, probably your, yeah. your your dryer or something. something. Yeah, your washing machine, dryer, or something is probably your, your refrigerator might be GE. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Now, my conspiracy theory with the virus. I, I sent you this thing on this post. Now, this might seem a little far fetched. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I ain't gonna even get into it. I ain't gonna get into it. No, say it. No, we gonna say it. Bust okay, there. so if you look around, yeah. and again, this is you gotta take this with a grain of salt. We look at all these conspiracy theory things just to kind of see a different perspective. Yeah, you kind of add that to your pot. You don't just jump all the way in. You kind of look at it like, okay, that kind of makes sense. That don't. I'm, I'm gonna keep doing some research, right? Right. So if you look around with this coronavirus thing, you got yeah. the CEO of Disney step down, the CEO of Tinder, Hinge, OK Cupid. <laughs> The CEO of Hugh, Hulu, Mad yep. Man, Victoria's yep. Secret, yep. Uh, Harley Davidson, IBM, T-Mobile, yeah. LinkedIn, MasterCard. Bill Gates, too. Bill, and I know you saw that video going around Bill Gates four years ago saying yeah. the, he was basically telling you what's going to happen with the coronavirus, okay. right? Now, we also know Bill Gates is a part of the elite society, and the elitists have this uh, population control thing that, okay. they're, that, they're, that they're all really like heavy on. Bill Gates is one of those people also. Okay. So if you guys Google population control elite, they believe that let's say the top one percent believe that in order for things to keep order in the world we have to have some type of population control because they feel like it's too many people on earth 
So they talk about uh, uh, things like this, viruses and 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 mat, like mass incarceration is a part is a is a part of population control. Okay. If, believe it or not, okay. but Bill Gates, if you look up uh, the elite population control, the coronavirus kind of fits mm-hmm. into that. If you look at it, like this could be on their schedule as okay, this is killing off a lot of people. This is kind of along with our agenda of population control. Now again, take this with a grain of salt. You feel me? Do your research. You, so this you feel like opinion. they, you basically, they put this virus out here to kill off some of these people, is what you're saying. To kill us, some of us off, is how you feel. Uh, That's population control. Then you got this virus, and then it's supposed to be deadly. So, yeah. I don't know, man, because I feel like I know virus can spread really fast. You know what I mean? The Rona. But, but it's like, it, it just doesn't what make sense. What about the HIV virus? Why that shit ain't spreading like the Rona? Because you have to contract that sexually. The this Rona is, is just contracted, you know, this is by true. droplets, and, you know, uh, uh, drop precipitation and things. Now, like my that. question is, what is the Rona? What is coronavirus? What is that? Peace of love. Well, the, the actual, I think the actual virus is called COVID nineteen. Okay. C- coronavirus. Let's say coronavirus is just. Let's say you got all the Jordans, them the Jordans, right? And then the, <laughs> yeah. the COVID nineteen is like that's the that's those are the elements. Does that make sense? Fuck? It's so, just like so, a so, strand so, of, the, of the brand or the overall so, brand. So this is supposed to be a killer strand of the flu. There you go. Fuck out of here, the, man. The, the COVID nineteen hey. is the Kush. That's the that's the, that's the pneumonia you know. been here. Peace of love. But you know that things things like mutate. Nigga, pneumonia been here. Bronchitis been all this shit been here, man. It has. We been. We, there's been viruses slash whatever. Mm-hmm. I, my whole thing is how many people you think died from a common cold? We wouldn't know. They don't tell you those statistics. True. You feel me? But, and, and then you, people getting crazy because it ain't no virus, but we don't got no, I mean, we don't have, there is no uh, cure, but we, there is no cure for a common cold. Well. There is no cure for none of the shit that they tell you is ultimate killers. There is no cure for cancer. There is no cure for AIDS. Now you don't got a cure for the coronavirus. Stop playing with That's me, man. Fact. So you think it's just all just hoopla? Listen, bro. If you made the disease, you got a cure for it, nigga. That's a fact. If you put this disease out here into the world, That's and then he touched this, he cough on that, he cough on that, he cough That's on that, this shit gonna go crazy. How are you not gonna get sick? So you go, everybody finna die in this moment. Well, well, if somebody you think about got it, some control in this, bro. Somebody got some control, but the all doctor right. in, in, in Wuhan, where where all this started, you know, he's the one that was trying to warn everybody. He ended up dying. Right. So it's like, it's, it, it, I don't know, man. The deaths are real. People are really getting sick. Like it's a real thing. We see a lot of these celebrities that have it. That's yeah. interesting to me too. Like how do, I don't know. We man, see funny. Idris Elba got it. Idris got it. Uh, KD got it. The other boy Goldberg got it. Donovan Mitchell. So it's, it's yeah, a few got people it. that got it. And then I was thinking, imagine Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks. But imagine the NBA all of players. them say they don't feel they haven't felt any symptoms, bro. That's crazy. But they all got tested. But why though? That, that's my thing. Let's look, look in, let's let's go in real life in real time. Peace go to the God. ER right now in real life in real time. They not letting you in. That's real. Funny. I'm not getting the details of somebody personal, but they just went the other day. And you can't get in there. No, brother, that's without precaution. And you no, bro. Some of this shit ain't making sense. I guess you got to go to the door and say, "Hey, my homie had coronavirus. I came in contact with him. Let me in. Then test me. I don't know." But it's funny though. Like how all these people, how Tom Hanks and his wife, and then and then Trudeau was it the the prime minister somewhere and his wife like what? It's it's not making sense, man. And they all saying they really haven't felt any symptoms. They gonna be they cool, they straight, they all right. Just be careful. That's what they are saying, bro. Now, am I gonna take precaution? Hell yeah, I'm gonna always take precaution. But am I nervous? Am I scared? Nah. Now the I'm U.S. Take, what's huh? your, go, go ahead. What you was gonna say? The U.S. says that this coronavirus pandemic could last up to eighteen months. Yeah, I heard them niggas trying to get this shit to go through my birthday. I don't know what's up with y'all. They ain't lost their mind on my mama. We you feel me? This, this is real. Imagine that though, man. I'm like, I feel like the quarantine thing is soft right now. It's not really like they're not really enforcing it. But we know in San Francisco, yeah. it's a twenty-four hour lockdown up at for Frisco. That's yeah. eight hours away. Yeah. So it's like, man, something could happen and it could get real, real, real fast. Yeah. And I feel like they we can. Put us, they put us on a lockdown. You nigga, you you lived in DC. You didn't been in the blizzard. Yeah. 
right then. Yeah, I done been in the blizzard. Okay then. <laughs> when you get stuck in that blizzard, yeah. you stuck in whoever dorm or whoever house you in till that blizzard over. Oh, with. that's a fact. That's a Am fact. I right in my wrong? Yeah, yeah, that's so a you fact. Better be hey, listen. All of y'all people that can't stand y'all husband or y'all wife or y'all kids. Y'all asked for it now. It's, it's gonna nasty. be ugly. Y'all stuck in the house. How, how, how. <laughs> What's crazy? Another story came out that yep. in China, yep. China has right now, since the coronavirus has taken effect and people have been quarantined, they have the highest rate of divorce right now. Because husband and wives are forced to be in the home together. And a lot of times, you know, they can't really handle each other. Hell no. That's a fact. Is that That's a fact? A lot. That's a fact. We, we, we talked about that today. They say, hey, they saying people, they resuming back to normal life out there. That's what, that's what I'm seeing. That's what I'm reading. And I'm saying it's from different media outlets. I'm saying it's from different news websites. Incredible sources, too. Mm -hmm. So now I'm to the point, I don't know what's what and what's real. I seen some other shit that say they had a few cases of coronavirus in Africa or Nigeria. One of these countries, yeah. and they like, shit, don't nobody got it now. Same yeah. way it was what I read about exactly. China. So it's, I don't know, man. It's tricky, man. I feel like it's a lot of misinformation. And then we're seeing Facebook. I'm saying that. Facebook is taking down a lot of information about the coronavirus also. I seen somebody, I, somebody reposted what they actually, I guess, you feel me, took out. But I don't know, bro. I don't know about this shit, man. I don't something, know. Something ain't right. What I would say is if you at home, you quarantined up, fellas, you if you got a gun in your house, you better know how to work it, man. Because shit, I feel like shit going to get tricky. Nigga, they buying all the ammo, too. I understand. I if bought you some ammo, too. <laughs> so if you got if a you gun, you better get no, some bullets. If you ain't got no bullets in your blower, if you ain't bought no bullets in your blower, you might be asked out, boy. Listen. No, that's listen. Because somebody... That's, ain't, it ain't no toilet paper. It ain't no bullets, nigga. Think about this. If it really go down, and they, they, they close the grocery stores, they all of that, right? And the cops... You saw what the cops said in Philly. What? The cops in Philly yesterday, and Meek Mill tweeted out, said he he tweeted and said, "Man, it's gonna be Grand Theft Auto Six in, in the streets of Philadelphia." Cause they stealing cars and shit, huh? No, because Philadelphia came out and said, due to the coronavirus, they're not having their cops arrest anybody. So they they made a statement. They said petty crime, theft, burglary, uh, 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 robbery, all all kind of things listed as petty crime. Yeah, they're not they're not making arrests for them. So niggas gonna get the they gonna get the robbing shit as soon as it's the he's coronavirus he's over. Niggas gonna cash out. But see what what happened was what? the police said, "Well, they taking rain checks on arresting people, right? Let's say let's say something happened. They got a rain check, whatever. Somebody came out and said, listen, this is just a trick for us to go in on each other. This is just like a ploy for the police department because they didn't have to make that announcement. They wouldn't have made no announcement like that in the, in, in, in the suburbs." They come out on Philadelphia on the news and say, hey, we're not making no arrests. The suburbs. Oh, okay, so all niggas got to do is go to the suburbs. They made it. They, they, everybody in the city could see the, the, the news. That's a fact. Yeah. But, but will niggas do that? Like we were talking about the riots. Did niggas go to the suburbs? No, they going to they gonna go to what's closest I'm to I'm going to rob you because you stand on my block. You, you know stand right here. You in close proximity. Exactly. Too. So yeah. it's like with those they type of laws. got to do with color. It's proximity. It's proximity. Yeah. But I mean, with that, with proximity means... It, it bleeds back into color. Yeah, you see what I'm saying. So we're yeah. all kind of in the same, we in the same thing. area. Exactly. So yeah. it's like in Philly, for all my people in Philly, man, it's like they made this announcement for y'all to go out and act a fool, but don't do that. Don't go out and act a fool. Right. Like just, just be careful, man. If you, you got your these. Crib, you got. You got, man. Look, peace my whole love. thing is I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm not finna go out here and act a fool. But if I'm in a store and you got about ten. Packets of uh, 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 24 rolls that's of toilet fat. paper I'm you snatching know? shit out yeah. your cart that's a fact. It's going down Come on bro Y'all being that serious You got really you got people out here That really need to go yep. Nigga you can't even do Your regular shopping Like you been doing bro You, you can't get nothing In the grocery store no, It's crazy listen, You got old people That can't get shit You got people You got real mothers Real parents That got babies Newborn babies bro That's a fact They can't right. get wet wipes And formula Cause y'all buying that shit off that's for no fact. reason. Come on, bro. Yeah, and it's like people can't even be cordial, man. Like if, if you got goddamn twenty rolls of toilet tissue, and I need one, you can't give me one roll. You Come know, on, you bro. you know what's so stupid about people, fool? Nigga, you buy your milk especially from food for less that shit expire a week from then. It, it Two does. weeks for no. It reason. ain't even that milk ain't even gonna last this whole <laughs> lockdown if yeah. we don't lockdown. And what are you drinking that much milk with? Yo, anyway? bread like. Y'all don't even Y'all don't even buy all the cereal Man, my, I'm mad at the niggas Y'all niggas just start buying water all of a sudden Y'all wasn't never drinking water this whole year Y'all was drinking juices yep. Sodas, big reds yeah. Hawaiian punches <laughs> yeah. 
and juices yeah. and Capri Suns and all this That's shit. That ain't what it got the water team with you. You been Bro, doing this shit for the love. For the love, <laughs> and you won't come in and true. What the what I've been That's doing? Fact. That's come fact. on, bro. You niggas is crazy. Hell yeah. But you know what I'm doing? I'm filling up all my gallons for 30 cent, you goofballs. Hey, hey that's real. Don't all do right, it. You can do one for 30 cent or five for a dollar fifty. That's fact. Beat that. You go straight to the water machine. Mm -hmm. You get your gallon like this. You put it in there. He's put the change in there. Hit the button, <laughs> yep. and it's going to stop when your gallon is done. That's it. These dummies is in the line buying all this water. You walk right past the water machine. And they still got water stores that exist. Exactly. They got they, the water ain't ran out. It's just like people is just it's crazy. Yeah, but what'll happen if they close the ports? Not but if, if they close the ports, we wouldn't get certain shit sent shipped from certain countries. We still got certain things that we would get, but we wouldn't yeah. have. Well, the ports might be close. Trump just signed an emergency coronavirus bill, which means that you can go and get free testing, and you're supposed to get paid leave. So everybody's not considered first responders. You're supposed to be getting paid leave. But yeah. I heard Africa closed their borders. Europe closed their borders. Everybody is closing their borders. So soon, you know, the Remy Reeves and the eyelashes <laughs> and the fake Jordans and the hey, fake wait, shit. Hey, where the Indian hair coming from? That shit come from India for real? That shit probably come China? from China too. Wait a minute. Hold on. So Indian hair come from China? Probably so. I mean, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't Hell know, man. No. But it ain't, it, ain't, it ain't coming from Detroit. <laughs> so, you know, they, <laughs> they ain't finna get no more of that. Yeah, y'all. Hey, but y'all on quarantine anyway. You might as well quarantine. They they got wigs, all type of shit now, bro. I don't even think they care about any hair no more. They taking wigs right off their head. Yeah. Well, my mama and putting them on them little bald head little things they got. Them little styrofoam <laughs> yeah. joints. That's you it. Put, put them on there. Burnt out, fool. Let's see. They got the little stocking cap on under their wig. Guarantee you, nigga. Let me ask you this, man. What? The uh, uh, A lot of people got a lot of jokes about this quarantine thing. Yeah. And don't nobody want to quarantine by themselves. Yeah. Don't nobody want to be locked up and you ain't got no little thing with you. Yeah. Right? Now, a lot of people are hustling. We're seeing uh, artists doing shows from their room. Erica Badu. You didn't see that. No. So I, I had this thought a couple years ago like, man, people are going to start going direct to the consumer yeah. with concerts as opposed to concert venues. Once somebody shot up that movie for Batman, remember when, it, when somebody went to Batman and shot it up? Yeah. I said, man, eventually. Be white boy. Yeah, white, you know, that's what they do. <laughs> Eventually, these social gatherings, um, it's going to be hard to get people out. So artists uh, are going to start going direct to consumer for their performances. All right. Right. So this was like 10 years ago. And Erica Badu just announced she's going to do a one dollar online quarantine concert from her bedroom. So what she's going to do is probably go live, have people tap in probably through Periscope or however she does it. And she says, you can pick the songs. It's going to be completely interactive. You can chat with her and things while she's performing. And she's going to do a whole performance from her bedroom for a dollar. So imagine if she got all of her fans. Everybody at home ain't got nothing to do. A million people pay a dollar. She do a perform performance from her bedroom in her pajamas and make a million dollars. Nigga, do I don't think do she get a she don't probably get a million dollars off one show in real life. No, she uh, definitely not, definitely oh. not. But think about it. If all her fans, let's say not not a million, let's Wait, say fifty thousand. So, so, so she finna perform at the house in the crib. What she finna put on? She got a stage lights. What she got going on? I don't know, man. It says she's the latest celebrity to take advantage of this coronavirus thing. Um, so niggas is paying for her to go live. It says interactive live stream experience from her bedroom and. Yeah, this weekend you choose the songs by poll. Uh, one dollar gets you in. We are gonna pull it off. We are gonna become. We are gonna help me make it happen. So if you go to Erica Badu's Instagram, she got all the information on it. And this weekend she going live and doing a concert for a dollar. I'm not mad. Get your money. But I mean, I don't think no online fucking <laughs> concert is gonna replace the real thing. Oh no, I don't think so. Never ever. I don't think so. No, either. not live what? in the flesh. I, that I think it's a dope idea. That's something dope. Get your bread. Mm -hmm. Cause she for sure, everybody they really. Oh, I got a dollar. Yeah, I got to go ask sure. a bum for a dollar. Yeah, for sure. I know bums that'll give me a dollar. Trump finna send everybody a thousand dollars. Trump ain't sending shit, man. You don't think he gonna do that? Stop playing with me, bro. You don't think he gonna send the, the thousand? Why would Trump send a thousand when he ain't giving niggas reparations? The thousand is a lot less than reparations. Bro. No, 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 I think, brother. What, what I think they gonna do is get a thousand and be like, hey. We spend gave black it. folks a thousand. No, they gonna give you a thousand and say we in the recession now. Everybody finna spend their thousand and boost the economy back up. You got yeah. nigga Nike is close to the twenty seven, Jack. Oh, you can't even go buy nothing with, this, with online. So everybody's gonna be what? But you can't. They can't order it. You can't deliver it. Ain't gonna be no UPS clothes. FedEx clothes. DHL clothes. 
know. Where the post office closed? Nigga, I get mail every day. Mm. I checked the mail earlier today. Well, if you get mail, then they're going to be delivering packages. That's a fact. So what I'm saying to you is, he finna give us a rack for what? How we gonna spend it? Ain't nothing in the grocery stores. Niggas gonna be online with they rack, like flexing, you know? The court, the quarantine rack. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> Something's gonna happen. I don't know. Niggas got money to be on quarantine? They gonna figure it out. We we we, we find ways. Now to, you uh, got Bernie Sanders talking about two thousand. Ah. Do I hear a three? Come on, my nigga. That's what I saw. Mean. <laughs> Do I hear a four or a five? I don't even see. Nigga, they probably giving niggas a hundred dollars. That's all. Go through FEMA. We ain't getting it. Do you FEMA still exist? I don't know. If the money got to go I through FEMA, FEMA ain't nobody I thought FEMA it. don't exist no more. I saw something about some FEMA last week. So if he planned on distributing his money through FEMA, don't, FEMA don't, don't count playing, on it. man. They was playing with my people when Katrina. Man, FEMA ain't shit, man. Hey, what's up with your boy Alvin, though? J Electronica. Yeah, I don't know who listening to who watching this shit. I don't even know if y'all listen to this dude. Y'all know Jay-Z, though. Uh, real hip hop, real hip hop has no J Electronica. If you really into, you know what I'm saying, lyrics and and content, then you 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 know who J Electronica is, love. bro. But yeah. this nigga ain't dro never dropped the album. He came out 10, 11, 12 years ago mm -hmm. and dropped an album ten years That's later. Fact, eh? Let's speak about this shit. And then you drop an album ten years later and it's featured all Jay Z. He got who That's else? He got fact. on there? I think the Dream. Who else on there? He got the Dream. He got Travis Scott. Yeah. And uh, Swiss Beats. So your first album is a whole feature that that should have been, it should have been J, it should have been J versus J. That should have been the name of the album, my boy. J versus J. Come on, boy. Come on, bro. J E and Jay Z. Ah, that might have been dope. They should have named it that because it got all of him on it. Let me ask you before I get into what? it. What you think about it? Like, if you had to give it an A, A through F, what would you grade the J Electronica written testimony album? Bro, I'm not gonna. I'm, I would never disrespect. Artwork where people put they 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 hard earned you know what I'm saying time and they skill into it. Now when you say an A, you saying lyric because because the, the beast is boo boo. You ain't sliding around playing none of that. Your girl don't want to hear that shit. I'm sliding somewhere. It's only one song on there that's bad. Flex capacitor. The beat is messed up. The loop ain't right. The mixing is bad. Other than that. I stand by every beat on that on the album. Bro, it's not, stop it's playing not with me. That nigga got a he'll rap a whole two minutes, him and Jay Z, and then the rest of the whole minute is an instrumental. At the end, Jeez, what's the uh, point? What's going on? I'm I don't even know what the concept or the purpose of this nigga whole album was, bro. What is this about? What is it? What is the album telling you? What does it feed me? A written testimony. A okay? what? Now we talk now about now the Ghost of Soldier Slim, R.P. Soldier Slim. Yeah. You like that because it's talking about slow and slim. <laughs> That's, That's why you like it. No, because it's hot. They Cause both gassing. Okay. I'm going to get Jay. Electronica verse was gassing. Jay Z verse was off. They was both gassing. Okay. And it was the Ghost of Soldier Slim. So I clicked it first. <laughs> okay. The first song is is not a song. It's an intro. The first song he is no song. Rap at all. He has no So no how words. many tracks on here? 10? It's nine songs. Nine. Nine songs. Nine all together. So it's eight because the intro, he don't say anything. Yeah. He got Minister Farrakhan on the intro. No, it's 10 all together. So it's 9. 10 is 9. Exactly. Right, yeah, okay. He got Minister Farrakhan on the intro. Everybody went crazy because he got Farrakhan on the intro. He fire. been spitting this whole... Fire, bro. How is that? Check it. So, check, okay, so let's we're going to get there. Man, now, crazy. we got to know the type of industry that we in. There's been no artist in hip-hop history that nope. started album off with Louis Farrakhan at the front of it. So? Because we got to know that we're working in a hip hop and we're talking record labels, we're talking executives that's dominated by Jewish folks. All and right. we know how Jewish men get like we saw with Peter Rosenberg, how he he he, he got in his feelings. We'll get to that. Thing. I, I'll say that's what yeah, I hit you. You see, I did shit. do that. Yeah, he, yeah. he nigga, you, Joe Rosenberg, you should you should shut you up. Shut up because this ain't for you. This yeah, is, shut this up. Is, this I is mean, black men in hip hop. Because if he was talking about killing another black man, you say this album's dope. Exactly. So this is black men in hip hop talking God body hip hop, real lyrics, real bars. Peter Rosenberg, this only got shit to do with you. As a white, as a Jewish man, you're a guest, right? We 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 appreciate you for what you're doing, hip hop, what you're doing, Hot 97. We respect Peter Rosenberg. We, like I, I I fuck with Peter Rosenberg, right? But in terms of coming at Jay Elect, the God MC. When he rapping some God body minute, real time shit. Out, time out, man. You calling this nigga the God MC? I, uh, he get that title. Jay-Z get that title. It's only a couple cats that get Why that. He, Just based on content, based on how you move. And I'm going to break it all you down. You acting like this nigga Jay busting. You acting like he seeing Q 
Kendrick, homie. He busting. He is seeing Kendrick. You crazy, yo? That's a fact. Man, I- the, the 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 content that he and li, now listen I ain't nigga. saying that I ain't saying he gonna just out rap Kendrick no Kendrick is the, probably the king of the West Kendrick Coast Kendrick is a god MC right Kendrick now Kendrick is a J is, Cole the god MC Kendrick right is now. one of the god MCs right now J yeah. Cole is one of the god MCs but stepping in the ring with J Electronica that's a that's that's a god MC that's a fact and you can ask both of them brothers they'll tell you the same thing that's why Jay Z is on the album standing right next to him and guarantee that wasn't J Electronica saying hey hove I want you to get on this album. No, that was Jay Z saying, "Bro," he said it throughout the whole album. Jay Z hit me, Jay. Jay Z had no on. choice. That nigga Jay Electronica was fucking with a Rothschild. Nigga, stop playing with me. Listen, stop playing. Why he saying all of that? He was dealing with the Rothschild daughter though. That's a fa- that, but that's heavy should, though. But I'm saying though, he bro. got a baby with a Rothschild. That's heavy. That's God. That's that's come on. So what you saying about what you really saying though? When you put Menace to Fair Count on the beginning of your album, you contradict. No, that you ever that's seen contradictory. a Have you ever seen a movie Spook by the Door? No, brother, no black. That's so what, what you saying. About. So that's what, what you talking about? So what you saying? In. So you saying he finna change? So you, you saying you feel like? Oh, come on, man. Stop he playing. might as well implement his seed into that and integrate that. In. Listen, what you saying? the Rothschilds, we know who the Rothschilds are. If you're not, do your Googles, okay? Yeah. Right? Now. Yeah. They'll fuck around and shut down our lives. Man, please. <laughs> Nigga like that. You feel me? Do oh your Googles. God. So the yeah. fact that Jay Elect from New Orleans somehow, somehow managed. I don't even know what the Rothschilds look like, right? I know what one of them do. So the fact that he's managed to infiltrate that and have a baby with one of the Rothschild women come back out. And again, this wasn't him saying, yo, hove. That's probably why he had no album. That's a fact. He been he been but listen, if you go through his first three records, and again, he does have a mixtape. He does have a tape where he sampled all these classic movie lines and all that. I got all it. Right. If you want it, get in the get in the comments, I'll send you all the stuff I got from JLA. I got like two hundred tracks so from what, J Electronica. Okay, I'm listening. Fire, right? Go ahead. But we gotta understand the level of dominance. I'm not talking about him dominating Jay-Z. I'm just talking about as an MC, the microphone when he came out with exhibit A, B, and C, saying the type of things he said, hip hop stopped. That's why he has such a huge anticipation because the rhymes he was spitting on that was unprecedented. At that time. At that time. He right? had a huge anticipation at that time. Absolutely. Now we fast forward 10 years. It's right? not the same anticipation. What you mean? And hold on, let me, hold on. Hold it's the on, same hold anticipation. Up, hold up, brother. Okay. This nigga dating outside, he ain't dating no black woman, nigga. Piece of love. Who he got a baby by? He got a baby by a Rothschild. Well, do he got a baby by Erica Badu? Erica he got a baby by Erica Badu. Listen, any man, <laughs> any, I didn't, my no, greatest, no, don't my switch greatest up MCs, now. nigga, okay. my favorite MCs, All right. Andre 3000. They all got a... The DOC. DOC. Okay. He's responsible for some of your favorite hip-hop all classics. All right, okay. And Jay Electronica. No, nigga, we talking about Jay Electronica dating that white woman. I'm not giving him no pass for that, bro. I, uh-huh. I got to keep a spade a spade. You feel me? She a rock child, but she's still a white girl, right? So what I'm saying to you is, what is this shit really, he really been kicking about this Muslim soul brother? But check this out. going against what fair is No, but if you got to look at the spook by the door. No, I I'm feel not like looking, that's, no. Because if he, didn't come, if he came with a pop album, if he came with an album that was soft, if he came with an album that didn't start with Farrakhan like he did, if he came with an album, on the front of his album, on the front of his album, he got Hebrew. He like he coming out with it in America. People don't get down. I'm not even Muslim. You feel me? I'm not a Muslim man, but I understand the teachings of Farrakhan and the fact that this man started his album off with Farrakhan in a Jewish dominated industry and said fuck it and came with some with some bars. Come on, bro. bro Ain't nobody doing that. But people his, are scared to do that. His baby mama probably sitting back like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this bullshit. You was fucking me though. What you saying don't mean this wasn't what. You you date me. But she's a Rothschild. That ain't no regular white. No, girl, bro. bro. My point to you exactly, bro. So what I'm saying to you is how To me how it would be jaded. What you saying when you It would be jaded if he didn't have the track record of Erica Badu also. But he he got the guy he got Erica Badu on his track record, bro. How can no, I nigga. how can I look at him and be like, yo, you only giving him a, you only giving him a pass cause he quote unquote came out. Did, uh, going against and saying certain things I'm not that were opposed to his baby mama, but he got a baby mama. He stuck with that woman forever. No, so he didn't know, stick with that woman forever, but it's been within the last two years. What if what if Jay Electronica kid call him? Dad, I'm half Jewish. What are you talking about? What are he gonna say? But that don't. He I got don't, a dog and they fight, bro. Listen, I don't know if if the Rothschilds are Jewish or not. 
I don't know what they. I thought they was Jew, Zionist Jews. I don't. I don't. Honestly, they're I, so. I, well, secret. let me not. Let me not give. Let me not yeah, say. I the don't wrong think. Thing. I don't know if they're Jewish and being being from L.A. You know, we didn't grow up with Jewish folks. You yeah. feel me? It was just blacks and Mexicans. If we did, we didn't know. Yeah, we, yeah, didn't, we didn't know. We didn't. You didn't identify as being Jewish. Yeah, we just LA. thought you was white. Yeah, you just a white, you just a white boy or yeah. a Mexican or something. You feel yeah. me? No disrespect. Yeah, we just we didn't know grow up with they they wasn't in our communities like that. So yeah. I don't know what there are, but I, all I'm saying is outside of all of that, for him to start his album off, and granted, Jay Z is the greatest rapper ever. Great Jay Z is the greatest rapper ever. There's no denying it. Jay Z is the greatest rapper ever. Bar for bar, nobody fucking with Jay Z. I'll stand on that. Give me one rapper, based on history, based on everything since 1996. And this album that just came out a week ago, Jay Z is on this album sounding better than all of the rappers that's rapping right now. No, you meant to say Jay Z sounding better than Jay Electronica. Listen, Jay Z is the greatest say rapper. Say that he sounds better than Jay Electronica. You, say say he smashed Jay Electronica on he his know, album. He didn't smash him. No, he didn't smash him. He didn't smash him. No, but Jay Z gotta play devil advocate. Jay Z did sound better because he's Jay Z. That's Jordan. You feel me? He gonna get out there. What? Jordan play with Kobe. Kobe still gonna get his shit off, but Jordan is still gonna be Jordan. Now, would you say this about the album? No, don't don't cap, bro. The album got content. Is it garbage? No, it's not garbage. But the shit is redundant and the beast whack. Jay Z, they never changed their approach. They ne there was no creativity behind it. It seems like Jay Electronica went in there, recorded some shit, jump on this, jump on this, jump on this, jump on this, jump on this. There was no. I don't feel like it was no. We in the studio together and we cooking this shit, and we really in here cooking together. So I got some proof of that. Young Guru. Okay. Uh, Guru is Jay-Z's engineer. Yeah, been forever. Guru got pictures of them. When it first cracked, about 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 a month ago, Jay Electronica tweeted, I'm working on my new album. It'll be out in 40 days. We completed it over 40 days and 40 nights. That's why I sound like that. But another thing is... You you waited 10 years and then, then, and then work on your album for 40, over 40 days, bro? Nigga, you should have been working on your album for at least a year, brother. You supposed to be the god MC. You ain't never fed your people no album, bro. Again, you you starved your fans for years, a decade, and you gonna come back with this shit uh, with a whole feature album? This album is incredible, man. You tripping? Ain't nobody saying it, it, the shit is not. The, it's for not the, ten years later, it's not the dopest. I'm so sorry to say, sir. The content for that he, ten years is not the hardest. It's not no. the hardest. No, this album could have definitely hit a little harder. However, yes. the content of this album and what you the the if you a rapper, if you listening to this album, this ain't gonna be no Neptune's beats and all that. No, but if you listening to this album and you, you trying to get some, you, you're content, not even finna get. You ain't who beat what well, you you ain't finna get. The no. beats ain't terrible. You just the outro is fire. Ghost of Soldier Soldier Slim is fire. Them Ghost of Soldier fire. Slim is hot. The outro is fire. Ezekiel's will is fire. That beat is dope. The, what's the la what's the one? The short one is real short when he gas by itself. It's like a it's minute. Called, or yeah, it's called the the blinding. That's hard. Yeah, I like that. The worst track on there is Flex Capacitor. And what I learned is that Jay Electronica produced a lot of it itself. That's why it kind of sound like I that. I think majority all of it. Exactly. He got a couple guest produce production on some of the tracks, yeah. but um, Swiss Beats produced the track, the second joint, but uh. All in all, man, just content wise, bars wise, man, Jay Z is in such a pristine bag, bro. Jay Z sounds no, like. No, we talking about Jay Electronica, nigga. Don't say Jay Z. Jay, Jay Electronica, the content, his, his bag is incredible too. The stuff he's saying, the, the, the bars that Jay Electronica is giving you, man, on some God body, grown man, shit is fire, man. The shit he talking about, he dropping gems, G. Throughout the whole every track, I can give you a gem from both Jay Z and Jay Electronica. That's why I don't understand why people saying I'll say he got much. bodied on there. He I'll didn't get bodied. I'll say this much: four, four, four is better than that album. You know it. It's, it's a real. It's a different album though. No, bro. No, it ain't. And then this is Jay Z is. gave you the ism on four, 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 bro. That's just a picture. Four, four, four is one of the coldest rap albums to ever come out in rap history, period, nigga. That's on my top 10 rap album list, period, nigga. Really? On my okay. mama. All right, all right. On my mama, four, four, four. Get Rich or Die Trying. Right. Webby Savage Life. Lil Boosie Badass. Yeah. I gotta go on my case and shit. <laughs> Webby uh, Savage Life. Yeah, on my. Listen, bro. To, no, hold on. Why the, pe the people see, bro? I'm not capping. If you own street shit, listen to Webby Savage Life, bro. I'm telling you the whole app. There's no. Let me tell you what he got on it. 
His first single was Bad Bitch. Was that not hot? Bad Bitch was fire. Fire. Yeah. Okay. You ever heard How You Riding? How You Riding? Fire too. That's all on the same album. Uh, uh, he had uh, uh, he had another record on there. I got my like my bitch, my mom bitch, my like bitch. Trina, my my bitch on some other shit. That's my, my I like that. Yeah, is that on that album too? The same. Okay, I'm okay, telling I give you that. I give you that. I give you that. Listen, yeah. homie. Well, I, I give you that. Most people won't E40, put that. Charlie Hustle, Charlie Hustle, Snoop Dogg, Doggy Ooh. Style, Doggy Style. Okay, nigga, another classic album. That I was listening to, I, I, I but see, I'm gonna name all gangster shit for right? so That's you can't okay. let me take it over. No, do you? Because I'm gonna say Ghetto D too. Ghetto D, Master, Master no Master limit, P? ghetto. Oh my, listen, ask listen, bro, listen, whoever listen. really listening really know certain this gangster shit. That yeah. was hot. Ghetto D was the shit. The Chronic, I give you Dr. that. Dr. Dre, yeah, 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 Straight Heat. Okay, okay. Me, That's I solid. was always riding around, and then Buster Rhymes, I play when disaster strikes. That was a good album, yeah. That's a my, that had uh, put your hands around. where your eyes could see. Yeah, yeah, it had yeah, dangerous yeah, yeah, on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Missy right. Elliott, what was that? Super, du- uh, Super what Duper you? Fly, the first one. The first one. Yeah, nigga. Piece of love. What else? Honestly, so but you saying this album isn't of that quality? Mm. Not it's not because I think this is like a mix. T- it's a hot mixtape. I think it's a classic. No, this is a hot mixtape. What makes it's it not a mixtape? Because the way they put this, the songs wasn't put together well. You feel me? It seemed like they was more concerned about spitting the lyrics and the bars as opposed uh, to the whole song. The music. I see what you're saying. So you're saying in order for it to be a classic, it got to be polished. It got to have that sound on it. Listen, homie. It gotta, when you listen to the story of OJ, from the beginning to the end, it's a, the album is a story. The beat rocking. The lyrics rocking. Okay. You know what the album is about. You That's know fact. everything. You hear it clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel you. You say, nigga, that make you go of... back at home. You better go change your life. Yeah, <laughs> that's a fact. That's a fact. Nigga, when you listen to that one, yeah, you wanna, you might wanna convert to this Islam. Is, this is just dope. He can rap. Oh, not he can rap. rap. But see, now maybe some. Oh, of my Kendrick Muslim got a brothers. classic album too. Let me, I didn't. Let me not go ahead. Though. Which, 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 which Kendrick album is a classic? Probably to Pimp a Butterfly. Oh, that's a classic for sure. I think, yeah. I think Good Kid is a classic too. But. All right, fuck it. I'm gonna go with if I gotta go with one Kendrick album. You gotta go with one. I I'm think Section Eddie is a Mad classic too, though. I'm gonna go with Good Kid, Mad City. That's it. I'm gonna go with Good Kid, Mad City. Section Eddie might be better than Good Kid, Mad City, man. No, he, Good Kid, Mad City had too many hits. It was too many hits on that. He's a love. Too many hits on it, bro. I, I can, you might have an argument there. I think Section. What 80, was Money Trees on? Money Good, Trees. Yes, with with. Oh, that's uh, with J Rock. Yeah, me yeah, and yeah. my niggas trying to get yeah, that it. That was a banger. Bitch. Shout out J Rock. But a you banger. But you got that PMP on 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 Section Eighty. Is that a section? No, that's on that's on uh, OD. Overly know. dedicated. I don't remember. He got he got two. He got more content He's than J Electronica, brother. No, that's a fact. Kendrick, I, 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 we can't take nothing away from Kendrick, man. He the truth, the yeah, goat. That's a fact. Let me ask you this though. He's a, he's a What's up with Lil Yachty new video? The song he got featuring um, Drake and... Uh, you know, we talked about that baby. briefly, man. Like, we, we talked about a man wearing a dress. Yeah. And... He dressed up as Oprah. I saw Lamar in the comments. Lamar said, Miss Doubtfire was funny as hell. Like, y'all tripping. But a man could wear a dress for, for comedy. He said it's cool. But, I mean... I'm going to say this. Nigga, you can't compare Miss Doubtfire and uh, R.I.P. my boy... Um, Who was it? That was... uh Damn, Robin... Uh, That was... uh Robin Williams. Robin Williams, you can't compare an actor uh, to a rapper. To a rapper. I see what you're His saying. job is not to pretend. <laughs> well, yeah, they are. They they more like wrestlers because they pretend to be something oh, yeah. that they not. Absolutely. But what I'm saying is that's not his role. Mm. Just because you got a song that's about talking about you look as good as Oprah bank account, I mean, you got to go put on high heels, makeup, a wig, and dress like Oprah. But see, I, now being on the other side of that, all rappers have music videos. Don't they all do. rappers gotta act in their music videos? They don't gotta act like nothing. When they not rapping, they like acting with the girl. They doing their little acting thing in their music videos, right? No, sir. They can do what they wanna do. Uh, I see what you're saying. He didn't have to dress up like that, nigga. When you go perform live, you gonna dress up like Oprah every it's time you record love. that. Every time you perform that song. What about the baby? We don't never talk about him and his antics. Where he what dress up in his, you know, he be wearing the, the little costumes and all that in his videos. He That's don't wear cool. a dress. But he got a costume. That nigga ain't on. wore no dress. Ain't nothing. What's wrong with a costume? Buster Rhymes did it. It was. It's animated. It's. It's entertaining. Now, now you trying to flip and be Oprah? Yeah, <laughs> it's not gonna work. No, nigga. Come on, bro. I'm, look. 
that's not the boy job. I feel like a nigga did that just for us to talk about it. Because if he did that and didn't dress up like Oprah, he wouldn't be the same. Well, that shit, did it work? I don't know if it worked. I don't know. I know the song got views, but I don't know why niggas watching it because he dressed up like Oprah because they feel in the song. Mm. You think this is a good song? No. Yeah, okay. I mean, the beat hot. Is Drake in in and what's we call it verse week? No. Nah, Drake and the baby. Yeah, no. But it is weird watching the baby talking to Oprah, this nigga that's dressed up like a man, and he. I'm like, right. what's going on? What the fuck is this? It's a reach, man. Trying too hard. That's what I feel like. Yeah, and it's like, but can you blame him though? Like you, you sitting on the outside, you want to get popping because we know the beef that's it's the, the supposed beef that's brewing with little baby and Offset. I saw a video. Little baby, no, not little. We, I'm talking about the baby that's on the song. Yeah, I know you're talking about, but yeah, I'm talking about Lil Baby and Offset. Yeah. yeah, you know the beef that's doing in the quote unquote camp. allegedly they got beef. I don't know if that's true. Yeah. Exactly. We saw the video. It looked like uh, homie got stripped and all that. Lil Baby walked up, asked him what y'all doing. He moved out. Right. Yeah. We don't know if it's true or not. They both haven't confirmed none of that. But I can only imagine if let's say the Migos was the 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 the, the top billing at QC. First, you know, Yachty had his run. And Yachty kind of been cold for a minute. Uh, we seen OG Mako when he sat down. OG with Mako Adam came first. OG Mako came first. Yeah. We saw he was kind of disgruntled. We saw the other dude, Flipper, Skipper the Flipper. I fuck with Skipper. You know Shout out saying? Skipper the Flipper. Yeah, I ain't gonna cap. I fuck with Skipper. Light Skipper. You know, but yeah. we seen some people get Skipper. disgruntled. Get dis disgruntled about what's going on at QC now that they got all their success. And with the Migos being the, the top billing and that little baby coming through, uh, it could be a little friction over there, man. We don't know yet. They haven't made no reports, but I could see that being something that's real. I can't see it because they little baby been that dude. Like if you pay attention mm -hmm. in the background, little baby been in the background. But he ain't been like with this last album that came out. Little baby is cemented like this. this hey, he but, he the guy. But that don't take nothing away from the Migos. Already sealed they deal. Yeah, that's, they, that's they real. They are the Migos. They probably one of the, the the best rap groups ever to do it. That's arguable. That's they right. gonna go down as that, bro. Yeah. I don't care if y'all don't care about their content. When it comes to this trap shit and this street shit, they gonna go down in history. That's yes. Fact. But I'm just talking about ego. If you're the number one rapper, and I think I'm a number one rapper, and we at the same place, the egos can get a little. I you don't know. think they beef, bro. I, I think hope not, man. Because when little when the Migos and little baby come in the same spot, they are gonna get the same reaction. It's gonna be they everybody going up. Yeah, no matter. Yeah. You put you might they might as well do a whole mixtape together. It's gonna go up. Ah, they sense. cracking. Yeah. They both. On top, little baby, it's little baby time. Yeah, he but cracking. the Migos is still relevant. They not, they can put out a song right now, and if it's hot, everybody gonna fuck with it. They actually got a single out right now, featuring uh, Travis Scott and Young Thug. Listen, yeah. man, the Migos gonna, the Migos gonna go regardless of whoever feel like what. I feel that. Period, point blank, and that's just what it is. Let me, did you call that early? Because when I heard that first, I was like, this shit is terrible. When you heard what? The Migos, the Migos. Was terrible. When you what's first heard it, did the you? First thing you heard that was terrible. Uh, when I first heard Tony Montana, is that that's their song or is that future song? That's they no Tony Montana is future song. Tony Montana. This was a couple years Montana. ago when I first heard the Migos. I was just like, this is horrible. Wait, what is this? And then I started listening to it. Like, okay, this Nigga, this is gonna work. The first time I uh trap out the band though, trap out the band though, yeah. trap out the band though. <laughs> Hey, I, 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 I knew it was, right I was rocking. Yeah. And then when I heard Black Shades, Johnny Cage, Diamonds Go Parade, Skr Skr, Motorola in the kitchen whipping Sonya. <laughs> I would have been like, not nah, third engine. <laughs> my, <laughs> my plug looked like Pacquiao. His soda, his ketone. Yeah, yeah. I get that, it now, though. That's that Chinatown. Yeah, yeah. That was gassing. And they get Emma Smith. Yeah. <laughs> Tony Tiger. So you, that. so you was on from the gate. From the gate, I was kind of I ain't from the A. I, I got on early, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I probably didn't see them from Jump Jump, but them niggas was been busting. Man. They been getting off. Even if you look out, uh, look look at uh, Young Thug's song with, uh, look at Guwap video, Young Thug offsetting them. Look on the back. Mm. Little baby right there. I Inside the city. <laughs> little baby, oh, little out. baby, been that. You feel me? I'm about to check that out, man. So you know, that's hot. You know, that's what it is. You listen to his album, though. I did, man. He got a solid album. To me, a lot of that stuff, man. This era now, gun a little baby, all of that stuff coming out of that same camp is is really redundant to me. Yeah. All of it sound the same. The one song, once you get to the first ten seconds of the song, the whole song gonna sound like that. What about Ain't G Herbo no, PTSD? 
I, you know what? I haven't really tapped in with G Herbo, man. G-Herbo you told me about Herbo. Yeah, I gotta, I'm just saying. I got I to gotta, gotta listen to it, man. Some people don't be liking it because of the way he be flowing. Mm-hmm. And they feel like he bounced off beat. And you know what I'm saying? But G Herbo hard. Fool. Is it still that? Is it like drill rap? Or is it a different kind of sound? Like what? Listen. I got to listen to he, it. He, 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 he got his... He know what he doing. I'm gonna tell you that. Much. Is Young Chop still making they, they beats, or is that he Young doing Chop was, was was really doing a lot of uh, Chief Keef shit too. Uh. I don't know, but I just saw Young Chop on live with uh, Jay Prince, one of Jay Prince songs. Oh, okay. okay, you feel me? Well, but uh, piece of love. Piece of love. You, when you got Jada Kid, you see Jada Kid running the uh, G Herbo. Yeah, I saw that, and when I saw that, honestly, it made me say, it "Yo, I need to check this out." Yeah, and that's yeah. real. Jada Kid's got that new K Slay song with Queen Latifah. Yeah, she bodied that. I, she bodied it. I can't even front. Her Tams is dope every day. She killed that shit for real. Was it hot? Yeah. I'm just shit hot. She bodied it. I was picking it. on the females not yeah. too long ago, brother. That's a fact. That's a fact. They gas some of them gassing harder than these men, bro. Yeah, Queen Latifah fact. went in. But on that on that verse, Jadakiss even says, a verse from me will get you a pass in the city. And I thought about that like, damn, you get a verse from Jadakiss in New York, you good. Like, Listen, yeah. Lil Her, hard. He's yeah, a piece That PTSD love. album hard. Blueface just dropped. What do you think about Blueface, man? The album? The album, yeah, the shit, album. Garbage. <laughs> Why is it garbage, man? Because it's boo boo bump. Is, is he not on the beat? Are the beats bad? It is ain't it the even content? About what being, is it? I don't see that on bother. I, I can hear he on beat, nigga, but the shit weak. Mm. Ain't nothing slapping. Ain't no hit slapping or none of that on the album, bro. Mm. I'm sorry, that's just my opinion. So the beats just ain't it ain't. He got that shit. holy moly shit. <laughs> what the f Hey Bro, boop, that boop, album's boop, garbage. Boop, boop. My mama. Try again. Yeah. Listen, go subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah, niggas in LA, man. Go yeah, check it the out. The homie just dropped something too. His shit high. The homie MNS Dank, he dropped a video uh, to track Big Mad. That shit high right now. That's right? fast. Dank. What's yeah. his, his uh, at? MNS Dank. At MNS Dank. Yeah, follow. I think it's underscore. It's MNS underscore Dank, I think. Did, D- uh, D-A-N-K. did Donnie Log drop anything new? Yeah, hell yeah. Donnie Log stage drop. He just dropped a song with D3. D3 400. As a matter of fact, I just posted on the page too. So Donnie Log got that new single out. It's a few people out with some shit, man. Yeah, and if you're working on music and you quarantine, you want to want yeah. us to hear it, man, send it to Slap It or Trash. Send it through, man. Y'all quarantining and rapping. Some of you niggas should have been quarantined from the studio, though. I ain't even going to cap. <laughs> some, <laughs> some of you niggas is boo boo. Real, for real. I, I, what you been listening? You ain't been listening to none of these young, new, new young artists. I've been playing a Blue Bucks Clan, though. I'm fucking. You've been man. telling me a Blue Bucks Clan, man. Blue Bucks Clan. Blue I'm, Bucks. Yeah. They're Blue, from Cali. Yeah. They from the turf, the land. Nigga, LA, All right. Southern Cali. All right, I'm gonna check it. Blue Bucks Clan. I've been rocking with lately. You know, I rock with the youth, man. Yeah. You, you feel me? I, I take rap for what it is. I don't, you know. But I am. Who, I the, who the best out right now in California? Have you heard first? Have you heard the new TG album? TG shit is I like it. Is it good? I haven't listened to it yet. Yeah, I like TG. Right. TG, ho oh, oh. I like TG too, man. I like TG. I like Rucci. I like I like Big Sad, nineteen hundred from is it nineteen out there? From Big the, Sad. Yep, he from West LA. Okay. You got Yellow Hill over there too. Yeah, you You got my boy Bonkers over there. Shout out Funk P too and Diggs yeah, management nigga. You got uh fuck with Bino. I like him. You got yeah, you got Bino. Bino hot. Yeah. You still got Donnie Logan. You still got your Day Day DMB. You still got your MNS Dank. You still got who else you got out right now that's rocking. Uh we're gonna have to do something special soon. It's a lot of niggas. You got it's a lot of niggas it's that's cracking, man. It's so you got I can't forget about DMB Gotti neither. Yeah. You you got uh D three four hundred. You got D three. D three out the projects. What's up? Shout out D three and A and B J out there cracking too. You got my boy Gigi out the projects too doing this shit. You got Cole Cash out the projects doing their thing. Everybody you, know you got that. new you got Nooski in the projects doing their thing. You got who else rapping in the city, bro? I can name a bunch of rappers that's that's uh, man. going, that's trying to that's getting it going right now. Yeah, man. Keep it, it's good to see the city doing its thing, man. Oh, my like, mama, you got plenty of you got Ash Bass, a rapper from Inglewood. You got Two Eleven. You got Rucci. You got AZ Chike. We got any females in LA that's that's coming? At, up? You got two. You got Ash Bass, the colors, and you got Ash Bass, the rapper. Okay. One from Inglewood, one from Watts. Okay. What about the one from uh where 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 uh, Roddy Rich is from? You got Asia. Yeah, the she, pre- she from she from yeah. Compton too, Park that's Village. You got Asia. Awesome. You feel me? Who else we got? That's uh, a fact. Damn, that's a good. We got some people, man. I know, my I know bad we got some I more for, female MCs out here coming up. Yeah, so, hey, so. my bad if I if I you know if I forgot who you are, but who else we got out? As a matter of fact, I want to uh, the boy. Um, his name is uh, Richie Making Moolah. He a Mexican rapper. 
Richie making moolah. Richie making moolah. He a Mexican rapper, fool. He a, he he from he from Florence. I so I, I, I fuck with him. I took my head off to him because okay. he from Florence and he still, you know, they had to, you know, they 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 squash they not nah, they squash they little, you know, they got a peace treaty going on with the with the East Coast. But yeah, 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 back yeah. in the day, we've always known niggas from Florence to be like fuck blacks and fuck niggas. Exactly. You feel me? So yeah. it's a new thing for us. So when I seen dude messing with. That's what's up. With black niggas and shit like that, it was like, okay, I, I see it. You know what I'm saying? What's he, his name? Uh, his name is uh, I'll tell you right now. His name is Richie Making Moolah. Richie Making Moolah. Yeah, he got a new he got a new joint with uh Funk P too. Oh, we about to get him in. Oh my mama, yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh he he doing his thing though, man. But oh yeah, we can't forget out the boy too, uh the bully from Compton too. The bully. Yeah, right. man, we doing all, I ain't gonna lie, the city it's doing a lot of shit. Crazy. You got city, DW man. Flame from Long Beach. You got <laughs> you got what's my boy now? You got my boy AJ out of Long Beach. You got all type of shit. Who else? You got Savi in Long Beach. You, you got, got Stupid Savi young out, young. out of Long Beach. You got Stupid Young out of Long Beach. On my mama, it's man, the city. Yeah, we. It's not too bad right now. We can do our own show and we can tour the whole West Coast and get fat right That's now. Right. Let me ask you, not to cause no controversy, man, but since very soon we are gonna have to do something, man. We know. uh King Nipsey Hustle, man, the, the the legend. I can't believe it's almost been a year, bro. On the thirtieth, we gonna have to do something special for that. But right. since since Shout the passing of Nipsey, legend. man, like a year later, who would you say is kind of running the coast, or is it or is it kind of up for grabs right Nipsey. now? Nipsey. Nipsey still running it. Nipsey. Yeah. <laughs> what you want me, yeah, what you want me to say? Nipsey. Nipsey still got it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but I do want to shout out my boy. Um, I was trying to get him on the show, man. You know, I need to actually talk to him on the phone. I just follow him, so I, you know, I be he motivating me. Mm -hmm. You know, I, that ain't my homie or nothing like that personally. Yeah. But when we link, you know what I'm saying, we gonna chop game yeah, with my yeah. boy Terry Roden, man. Yeah, my boy, uh, Fat Boy Monopoly. Fat That's boy Fat Monopoly. Boy Monopoly. That's my boy. <laughs> he. If, if if nobody see you, I see you, fool. That's what's up. He be out here trying to make a difference. You know what I'm saying? He he uh doing a you know he be preaching the real estate thing, preaching the uh, you know the uh, the black owned business thing. So he be out here That's trying to up. you know he be preaching this shit, man. So if don't nobody see you, I see you, He's man. Take my hat off, Terry Rosen. You feel me? We need you on the show. And yeah, hey man, Kato That's tap back in, man. We got to schedule that day for you, Kato phone you. You dig what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Kato at you know Smoke a Lot Radio. They all over there at uh, Digital Soapbox Network. So shout out to them. Too. That's fact, yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's what's up, man? Hell yeah. You got anything else for the people? I ain't got nothing for the people, man. Let me ask you this, man. We quarantined. This just to get out of here, man. Y'all stuck in the house. Uh, I know a lot of y'all watching Pornhub. Yeah. A lot of y'all, you know, getting your rocks off because yeah. you ain't got nothing else to do. Yeah. Right? This is time nigga should have made I should have made a deal though. It would have sold off the chain. It would have just been crazy. Come on, bro. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, I seen young my guy 150 cent. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold up. <laughs> young my got a deal though? Bro, I seen it on 50 page. I don't know if look, look how do how do that work? That motherfucker, look, I'm finna read it to you. Hold on, I still got the picture in my phone, bro. I still, hold on, let me let me go ahead and. Uh, but that is smart for her for her lesbian followers yeah, to get me. the look, young look my deal though. Look at it. Wow. Hey, hold on, let me show you the back of it. Ain't that her image on the back? That of is her image. That shit say handcrafted from <laughs> ultra skin for the ultimate feel. <laughs> She got a fake penis, bro. She didn't even got a real molded penis. directly from a real erect penis. So y'all know when y'all buy that, that's not her joint. That's it, some nigga joint. Lisa, 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 they, Lisa. Uh, on the front of it is say, Young Ma presents Play Nice 7 inch dildo with balls. <laughs> Feel me? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Hey. Hell no. Nah, mama, mama, get your bread. All hey, Young Ma fans. You go into the sex store if you see that cash out. <laughs> hey, I ain't, I ain't mad. Would that, would that, would that be what? a good business piece move? Piece what? Let's say shit get cracking this time next year. I'm sure shit will be cracking. I'm sure I have a Benz. You have a Benz. Have yeah, whatever you want. Yeah. And they come to you. We going race and all that. We you, going you know, We going big. And then you, know, you, you know, your female followers, they like, man, we just really want to bring bro home with us. We can't have him, but we want to bring him home. And then, a, and then the company says, hey, we would like to make a mold of your penis to sell as a dildo. Would you do that? Would that be good business for you? Fucking run it. We selling rubber joints. <laughs> Let's do it. Fuck it, run it. Let's mold the boy. <laughs> Let's mold the That's boy. It. Put the plaster on my joint. I'm in there like this, man. Uh, the hell you got to do oh, it, dog? No, no. How much they go for a pop? Hey, you can sell it for as much as 
I mean, ladies would know I never bought a dildo before, but I'm I'm assuming from at least twenty five to a hundred dollars, you know, for a damn. nice. You selling damn that? No. Hey, well, oh, if a nigga can sell a rubber joint for a hundred, I might as well get the slung of the real joint. <laughs> you know, for a hundred. What a nigga for the <laughs> You got the real <laughs> deal, baby. I'm in flesh. I need the gas money, everything. This is about a five hundred. Hey, you know what I'm talking about? That's it. Hey, it, it can happen, man. You, you ain't got nothing you to would eat, say man. you would have a dildo line, my boy. Man, I'm that's saying. a weird ass question to be asking. That's, that's a weird question, but you know, I, man, look, I'm pause, sure. nigga, no homo. What they say, pause in New York? They do say pause in New yeah, York. Yeah, yeah man, they they step to me with that, nigga. I'm I'm slanging this dick like dope. Now what? Hey, what if you? What if they say? That's what if they get at you like Ray J. Would you mm. do a sex tape for the check? I've thought about that. Man. <laughs> I thought about it. So baby. we know this nigga answer already. I already got a couple of the stats. <laughs> <laughs> they want to, you know. But I don't know. Nah. Niggas in LA production company you presents know, this know. nigga image. The BT Uncut. You feel me? Man, I'm But nah, I feel like that follows you too long. Because I'm young and, you know, I'm a spring chicken now. But on the other side of 60, when I'm, when I'm you know, when, when when you got everything you want, when you just looking after your family and all that, man, you 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 worried about what your legacy is gonna be, and I don't know if I would want that to be mentioned in my legacy. And nigga, it depends on how you perform. Depends on how I performed in the video. <laughs> Yo, if you had a good performance in school, what? If I'm stroking, that's a part of my legacy. The boy had to stroke fat. every shit. Yeah. Now I can tell you, know what I'm saying, my 60 year old girl at that time, baby, hey. I used to crack like yeah, that. Yeah, you see me? Yeah. It's high line. <laughs> now I don't know the tell. <laughs> You see me, you see me <laughs> performing. If I perform on tape, yeah, I can't get up now. But you see that's me. That's part of my attributes. Hell yeah, yeah. that goes with my trophy case. You feel me? That's something to think about, man. Come on, man. Especially if the girl was bad. Ah, they gotta be bad. That's the only way to do it. You know nigga can't. Ray J, seventy years old, talking to his grandson about Kim K sex tape. You right. That's not. A, that's not. That's not a bad blemish on his record. <laughs> yeah, my granddaddy shot me a sex tape with him and uh. Who was cracking back then? Nat King Cole? Wasn't that Natalie King Cole? Natalie Cole? Or some yeah. shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what a... <laughs> nah, Cleopatra Jones. Or, uh, 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 Pam, 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 Pam Greer. Yes. I'm go... G Pops, you did that. You got it. You didn't admit that's part of your legacy. You're right, man. If it, I guess I guess if, it, if it lines up right, nah, that's but something to be proud kids, of. Though, it's not a good look, I guess. You feel me? That You don't want your kids to see you slinging balls and slinging dick and all this whole type of shit on TV and all man. that. What I do know is that the OnlyFans pages is going up now, boy. Yeah, I'm Everybody sure all, Hey, well, fuck it, you might as well. Hey, listen, it's, it's a lot of pimping and hoeing going on it's now. A lot of prostitution going on right now. Yeah, but still, you still got porn up. I'm not finna. Man, I, man, I'm not oh, I brought that up for a reason. So actually, some adult film stars. Uh, via Pornhub, you know, they got a lot of their stuff going. They said since it's the quarantine time, they're going to start some new productions to give people some new content to watch. <laughs> right? They got the quarantine and hit. Uh, so you can follow these these women on social media. The first one is the real Jenna Fox. Okay, mm -hmm. she says she's got some new things going on. Uh, she wants her followers to know she's got some new stuff coming for you. Mm -hmm. So tap in with the real Jenna Fox. Uh, the next one is uh, Crave Melanin. Oh, she black? They all black. All these women are black. Unless Crave she, Melanin. Wait, no. Jenna Fox is black? I'm a, they, they all black. Let me see. Wait, these is porn stars? These are porn stars. Which, 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 which site? Do you use Pornhub? Do you use X Video? Well, shit, usually, whichever. I might go to Pornhub and it just get the link and the other shit. Ah, so you you you, you go into the, the rabbit clicking. hole. You get the clicking around. I got to find around. what I like. Ah. Then, I, you know, I get the clicking and then I might as well settle an hour later. And ah, then, as yeah. soon as it's over with, I found a better video. Ah, I don't even give a shit. No man, more. I hate that. This nigga's stupid, man. So, it's the first one, love. again, uh, Real Jenna Fox. You can check her out. She says she got some new content coming for everybody quarantine. Uh, the next one didn't Obama? They say Obama followed. Uh, yeah, well, porn Sarah star J. too. Obama, Obama's tapped in with the porn stars I mean, too, man. I, but I looked at his page; he wasn't following her though. When I saw it, Ooh, so I don't up. know who's that. Her name is Brittany Benz, Bethany Benz. Oh, well, you know who that girl is? Who's that? That's the one. Wasn't she on the, the reality show Flavor of Love? And one of them remember she had one a long time ago. Um, yeah, that was the name. I oh my, she was on a reality show, bro. Okay, I'm gonna have to Before check it out. Before she started doing that. Bethany yeah. Benz, uh, she says you could check for some new content. Everybody that's quarantined up. Uh, so this you is could, quarantine she was on Ray porn? J's Ray of Love. That's a, there you go. Baby. Yeah, there we go. Exactly. There this is a quarantine and porn. What kind of shit? Uh, oh hell yeah, no! Nah. Talk about this guy. Uh, who is this? Uh, 
Dorelli. Who's that? Filters going on. She got a lot of filters going on. But uh, D Darrell Lay, I don't know what her name is, but she's another one. Uh, let's go to, to the. So to it's the a lot day. of pro, so it's a lot of porn shit going on. It's a lot of porn shit. A lot of a lot of prostitution going on. Who is this? Osa Lovely at Osa Lovely. Another another beautiful black lady. Osa Lovely. You have Brazzers. She says Wait a minute, hold on. Brazzers. Time out. So how you feel about these women? What, what what's your what, what's your? What's I mean, your, they're prostitutes too. Right. So now, oh, all right. So these pretty prostitutes. How do you? How do you? Do you? Is there a certain? Is there a certain level of respect that you give prostitutes? I'm gonna give a woman respect just because she a woman. Yeah, I'm not gonna be disrespectful because you're a prostitute. Okay, so I'm you, not gonna you know disrespect you because you're a prostitute. No, absolutely not. Oh my God! So you see a girl walking down the street, she disrespect herself, and you ain't gonna do it. No, I'm not gonna disrespect you. Like you ain't gonna wife her though. No, absolutely <laughs> not. I ain't gonna touch you. <laughs> really, if you're a prostitute, but. Right. Uh, and then the last one, she might uh, have a Pomona Harley body. Dean. Harley Dean, you can that check her like, out. That one, that one. Columbus, Ohio. Her name is True Beauty Three Six Five on uh, Instagram. That's like a, that's a, she white or Asian? I don't know. She like a little, she little kind of mixed up. I don't know neither. Yeah, but they all skinny. For everybody that's you know uh, quarantined up, man, getting your rocks off, you can check them things out. Um, but yeah, I don't have nothing else for the people. Make sure y'all wash your hands. Um. I don't, you know, wash your hands, be safe. Again, my whole thing with this, I do feel like it's something else behind this whole coronavirus thing. I don't, I don't, I don't believe it. Yeah. I do know it's it's a real virus and people are really getting sick. And I'm not trying to be insensitive. I know people are, are dying and things like that. Mm-hmm. But I think it's something bigger behind all of this. Uh, so my thing is just men, you at home with your families, you know, you with your girl, your kids, and all that. Man, make sure you can protect your household if something go down. So yeah. if you if you in there. And you you ain't cleaned your gun, you ain't got no bullets. Just make sure it's it's, it's ready and ready bullets to go. So a lot like toilet paper, man. Well, if you gotta go, if you gotta go to toilet I don't know paper, how you gonna get some toilet some. paper, water, and bullets selling out like Jordans. That's a fact. Them selling out like patent leathers and shit, like the Elevens. God damn, you <laughs> ain't for space, real. Y'all like like breads came out around Christmas or something. Man. What's up with y'all? But you know, just in case it go down, it's, I'd rather be safe than sorry. You feel me? Just rather hoarders. have it than not have it. So make sure you can protect your families. Uh, y'all be safe, man. Y'all make sure y'all praying and. uh that's it, man. You might want to put a condom on too, because there's gonna be a lot of babies born in December after this whole quarantine thing going on. So get your pull out right, or, <laughs> or get, get you a condom, get you a couple of them things. Hey, because they ain't selling out. Ain't no condom sold out. No, they ain't. Them ain't selling out. Yeah. Go That's to the fat. water store. It's Thirty cent a gallon. Good balls. You don't got to go to the grocery store. Go keep your gallons of water. Go to the, go to the little. Uh, is one right? You got some at the grocery stores. You see it right in front. Put your gallon in there. Put your thirty cent in there. You got your water. You don't gotta go in the grocery store lined up three, four, five in the morning fighting with folks just for some goddamn water. No, you don't. You can go get you a Brita filter. Stop capping, man. You feel me? Peace of love. Shit, if you on the east side, you might as well fuck it. Use the water hose. Fuck it. That might be Corona in the hose too. Well, that's the safest water in the world, man. That water hose water. Oh, that's nah, but that's fact. all I got for the people though, man. That's it, man. We'll be back in here when we see y'all. Y'all be safe. Uh, yeah. Please, artists, man, send that stuff to Slap It or Trash It. Get y'all y'all see? On me, send it through the page, man, and get y'all get, get y'all masks and y'all gloves and shit. Yeah. Mask and gloves stuff. And ladies, don't just wash your hands. Make sure you still have to. I know these quarantines and all that, but you still. Yeah, because Adrian from The Real says she, she don't wash her hands when she at home. Yeah, you still got to wash your hands, wash your feet, and most important. When she go to the bathroom, I think. So she went to the bathroom and don't wash her hands when she come out because it's her house. That's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So ladies, please keep washing. You know, y'all y'all stay clean, man. And that's all we got, man. Y'all take it easy. Peace yeah. out of the podcast. Easy call. That's it. Peace of love. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, 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 and peace, peace, and love. Peace, and love. peace and peace and love podcast. Peace and love podcast. Peace and love. 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 Peace and love.